त्यांना सांगू का चावी उघडून द्या त्यांना जर आम्ही हॅलो सो एम आय क्लिअरली विजिबल अँड ऑडिबल टू ऑल सो टुडे वी हॅव टू कनेक्ट थ्रू Oh, welcome, warm welcome to one and all. So every time we are trying with a newer and newer ways to reach you, to make you aware of the interesting cases that we share. You know, it has been not one, not two, but 23 well-documented cases are already right now in your hand. uh yes we are here starting the session i am looking for the chat box okay yes good evening just a minute we are starting in few minutes so some uh, we are managing some technical points yes uh, hello welcome narenji uh, since long we are uh, trying to uh, 
make you available for this online session and uh, watching you finally here is a really pleasure okay so uh, little lights are low here okay right now i am in uh, I, actually i was supposed to take this session at my home but uh, there is a, one marriage in front of our uh -huh. house it was very noisy so at uh, the last moment uh, i have to decide uh, this is uh, dr dharan street's cleaning okay so i hope i am absolutely visible and audible to all just type type in the chat box am i uh, clearly audible yes okay that's excellent Uh, reminding me of uh, COVID days when we used to take session like this. After a long time, even I have time using this. Okay. So about the case. Okay. Again, as usual, uh, please mute your video so that. Yes, Arjit, I am asking same, but as it used to happen all along the. You know, COVID, same thing is happening here. So please, please mute yourself. So this case is a little bit... Uh, So now I have to find who is making noises as usual, the things that happen in. So uh, those who have not gone, yes, please mute everyone. So, uh, so this case is very uh, different in the sense that it is a case of neurologic origin. Okay, so. The whole uh, concept and the whole gist of this case revolves around the idea that that patient was having unbearable pains. Okay. And this unbearable pains, the cause of this pain is. Sonali, can you hear me and see me clearly? I, I hope there will be, there will not be any more disturbance now. Okay. We are all set and, uh, uh, So, so I'll open the case and uh, please put that we have started the session. We can put in, in our discussion. So uh, the thing is that what to do when there is cases of injury. Okay. So acute injury and chronic injury. We have been documented for a long time that injury has a fantastic scope in homeopathy. Okay. But there are two types of injury. One is acute injury means... Uh, something had just happened before and minutes and hours or some days and the impact is there and there are some chronic injuries the injuries which refuse to heal okay in the second type the entire persona is involved so this is not a, a, a thing that we can prescribe on snapshot or a, a small point we have to consider uh, the characteristic symptoms totality 
So we have to make a character totality and that is the best way to deal with such cases. Now, this patient that is, that is in front of us is, uh, as you must have gone through the case, that this is a 39 year old lady and for one long year, so she is a teacher and for one long year, unfortunately, she is suffering from severe, severe pains. Now, how severe? Uh, it was so severe that she was even unable to write. So she is a teacher basically. Problem is that ki, uh, whenever she was going to write on the blackboard, her whole arm used to get totally numb. And just like you said in the video, zar 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 aise pains jate the. from this elbow to down and down, down, down. So what this shows us, okay? So now you tell me which you know type of injury the patient has from from this whole analysis depend which type of injury uh, a patient has because see we have dealt with 22 long cases so most of the time many of uh, the students in the our group tell few group of remedy you know kai log batate hai natromure arsenic hai aur aise char panch options hote so Usually we, we end up with four and five options. But now in this particular case, we have ended in not one, not two, but multiple options. So what it simply indicates that student do have difficulty in understanding case. So Farheen has rightly pointed out. So everyone, so there are so many, so many people today. I'm very happy that though we are... Uh, though we are handling it first time, Yes, there are so many people joining this session. Okay. So uh, this is a nerve injury. Okay. So how thought process will pro should proceed? Number one, patient has... In between, I have to join the people. Uh, number one, patient has uh, undergone the injury. As you can see, there is a clear cut injury. And that cut injury has gone to the depth of the nerves okay so what we are dealing is basically a nerve injury okay now nerve injury not acute one is the acute nerve injuries for example patient is you know walking from somewhere suddenly fell down on the ground he has uh, injured you know back injury elbow injury or knee injury kind of and then patient comes to uh, coming to us he has pinched his hand into the door and is coming with that pinched finger so this is an acute nerve injury. This patient don't have acute nerve injury. It is a chronic sequelae of nerve injury. Okay, are you there? Don't worry, it will go un it uninterrupted now. Okay. So how my thought process progressed. Okay. First patient has nerve injury. That too, chronic nerve injury. That too for one year. And let me tell you, after giving remedy, just within first 15 days, uh, her numbness reduced. Lot of reduction in the numbness, 30 potency. In the next follow-up, which you have seen in the video also, even out of her entire hand, 90% of the uh, this tingling numbness flow entirely reduced. And now, what was remaining in that follow-up was just a tip. Okay. And now, and now her entire symptom has been subsided. Okay. So, I'll ask some uh, you to mute yourself. Okay. In between. Uh, so, 18 parts. So, how we process in this case? Now, what I did. I directly open one repertory and I looked into the ailments from nerve injury. Can you imagine what might be the remedies? Ailments from nerve injury, chronic sequelae of nerve injury. Your chat box is open. Welcome. Uh, to reduce the mystery, let me tell you that out of this whole analysis, only one person has strike the right remedy. Ek admi ne, ek person ne bahut achhi tarah se remedy batai hai. Hypericum Jinone kaha hai, they are almost winner. Okay. Hypericum is the first and foremost remedy that come into my mind 
patient is in front of me it is a nerve injury there is a tingling there is numbness everything was there okay now who is this iphone so who just answered uh, can you put your name also so everybody pay attention to chat box akhil okay akhil okay so see the interesting thing okay see uh, the interesting thing is that in the computer repertories unfortunately there is a no such rubric as elements from nerve injury yes you heard it right in the in the software which is right now in front of me on the another laptop there was no this rubric so i was quite clueless and helpless but uh, what we do is, is we are using printed synthetic record. Okay. I'll type it here for everybody. It's uh, everyone's synthetic. Okay. Printed synthetic record. Uh, meanwhile, I'll uh, request you, anyone from uh, this group, to so please, uh, in our WhatsApp group, please put that we have started the meeting, okay, because I'm unable to handle the both, okay. So, good number of participants. Welcome, everyone, once again. And of course, as usual, put your mic on silent, okay. So, uh, what, what, what I was talking is that, uh, in the computer repertory, there was no rubric elements from nerve injury, but there was simply rubric injury, injury nerves. Okay. And it has a few remedies in it, but not elements from injury. Okay. So I opened synthetic. In the synthetic, there was only three remedies. One is hypericum. See, uh, many of you has given fantastic replies, such as, you know, some has given for bryonia, some has given for rust tox. Uh, which was the first remedy come in my mind. Bellispur is an excellent option. There is Naxomica. There are so many remedies, okay? But what we have to focus here is that Bryonia, Rustox are all remedies for injuries. But which kind of injury? Those injuries, which are its origin, sprain, strain, muscular injury, twisting, turning, that is the domain of Rustox, Bryonia. Here, we must confine ourselves only to the nerve injury okay so uh even uh, even if you have been to some orthopedics physiotherapist in your, your family okay so they must have told you that this kind of issues that nerve injury in lasting for a long time is not really uncommon okay so we are left with three main remedies hypericum manianthus and xanthoxylum synthetic repertory lists three remedies in the elements from hypericum Okay, so Hypericum, Manianthus, Prifoliata, and third one is Yes, Sonali, right, Xanthoxylum. Okay, so uh, here we come to the conclusion as one of us, one of uh, active participant of group has already stated, uh, we have to differentiate between three remedies. Our patient is clearly, purely, thermally on the hot side. Okay, now here, Manianthus is through and through chili. Manianthus has coldness of uh, local part. Uh, then Manianthus has a, a severe kind of migraine also. Hypericomias has a mostly chili, but there are some towards chili kind of stuff. Means he has some hot aggravations as well. Okay. Now, uh, 
So when we rule out these things, focus on right ulnar. Okay. So if you open in the repertory and if you see so right ulnar nerve uh, affection, okay, then uh, we have starting from noise, okay, then we have uh, the symptom which range from forearm right to the wrist, okay. Uh, forgive my spelling in the and there is a history of strong dysmenorrhea. Patient has been suffering from dysmenorrhea for a long time, right? Then uh, there is a uh, fear of dark, fear of dark, okay? And finally, insomnia with uh, amelioration by open air. So all these points towards the remedy that I have used in this case and also you can um, apply, uh, apply in your practice is Santo Xylem. Okay. So this was the case of Xanto Xylem. Not at all a rare remedy, a very well proved remedy. So directly I'll go for my screen sharing. Are you all with me? Are you watching the session? Please, if yes, say yes. Yes, yes, very good. Yes, Narendra, you can unmute also if you have some question, definitely. Uh, so, uh, Narendra, in last 22, we've been dealing with different remedies, okay? Most of the remedies are well-proved polycrest. Uh, Naranji, uh, may I know you can see slideshow clearly? Hello? Yes, very, uh, yes, clearly, sir. Uh, which slide you can see? Thought process. Yes. So, uh, the thought process that Thought process that followed was quite simple. What I was dealing with, uh, with the person which came for the treatment, the lady sitting in front of me has a simple issue. She had been exposed, unfortunately, to the accident and injury. And that effect of injury still lasted. Though she never uttered a word as a nerve injury, as a physician, as a clinician, it is our job to understand whether this injury is muscular, nerve injury, or, uh, you know, fracture or something like that. So, as he has used the word numbness, Marathi Madhya Mungyayana, Sundahana, Zur Zur Zur, you can watch in that video. So, these words are sufficient for me to decide that this is nothing but a nerve injury. Now, let me tell you here that neuralgia is another a different process. So, whenever the issue of nerves comes into the consideration, it is always syphilitic or tubercular myosin. Tubercular to syphilitic. Because nerve pains are severe, intense, unbearable. Uh, so we categorize into that uh, sense. Now this patient is also history of vitiligo that you must also remember. So today we will in short within next 15 minutes learn a fantastic remedy that is named Xantho Xylem. Okay. Uh, can you see the screen that I have shared as a Xantho Xylem without any interruption? Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. 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 Yes. I'll keep this chat box somewhere so that So again, this is not at all a rare remedy. 
Okay, this is well proved remedy since uh, Dr. Samuel Hanneman Sira. Uh, I remember uh, I have seen one patient uh, 12 years ago. So 12 years ago, uh, those who are here, most of you must be knowing that I had been uh, dedicated to most of my learning at Aditya Hospital, Nikamsar's Hospital. So I was taking round there and I have found one patient uh, who was admitted in hospital. Okay. And on his case paper, this word was written X A N T H. So uh, at Aditya Hospital, it is all self learning. Okay. So it took me 10 years more to use this remedy. I have seen that I have seen that uh, patient's prescription and I was really curious that why the hell the patient with injury has been admitted into the hospital. Okay. So uh, I tried to interrogate him. So the story was very interesting. The story was very interesting. So he was a criminal. I asked him, uh, means aapko kya hua tha? Aapko kya admit kya hai, wagara, wagara. So he was a criminal and uh, he was caught. He was inmate uh, put into the jail. And one fine day when they were taking him for the courtroom procedure, he tried to run away. Yes, you heard it right. He tried to run away from that location. He just, uh, you know, uh, shook his hand, uh, give a jerk to this policeman. Uh, because it was, you know, Jala Marathi da Hindi madhe hatkadi manto apan. Marathi madhe bedaya manto. What is the word for English, word in English for that? Which we, which uh, the criminals wore uh, so that they will not run away. Okay. Uh, can anybody enlighten us with the word, right word for that? So, he tried to flew away in short. Okay. And yes, it was coupling. And he so violently tried to, uh, you know, stress that coupling. Uh, that uh, means he was literally uh, uh, running with that. And it was in his both hands. Uh, first of all, that policeman uh, tried to, you know, resist him. But he some somehow managed to run away from that with this coupling in hand. Then after going one, two kilometer, there uh, he was searching for a place to just cut it uh, but he was not getting that but with all the energy and violence he struck struck uh, strike it on the uh, stone okay and after that also it was not dissolved then he went from here to there then his, his friend came from somewhere then they went to the blacksmith and he was also reluctant to enter into that in all this process okay he got his nerve injured. And from that, so this incidents happened, for, you know, some four or five years ago. And for the next four or five years, his whole hand was numb, no power and nothing. Uh, I was not able to see uh, its follow-up in the hospital. But I think it was the second or third day when he was admitted and I had been to this. Then I searching what why the, this remedy uh, might, have, might have been used by, you know, uh, uh, our teacher Nikam sir. Then I have found that this is a beautiful remedy for nerve injury, especially this kind of ulnar nerve. If you open the repertory, put right ulnar nerve, there comes no other remedy. Yes, you heard it right. There is no other remedy. Just a minute. There is uh, no other remedy for right uh, ulnar nerve than xanthozylum. Okay. So, what this xanthozylum is all about? Are you there? Yes. Can you hear me? Have you got the, uh, have you heard my story of a criminal with, yes, type yes in your chat box? So, uh, I hope this story will be in your mind forever. Right. Whenever you think of this ulnar nerve affection. Yes, Rashi Madam, Sonali Pratmesh, good. So let's come to the, this remedy. 
and uh, what you can observe is the family's rutashi. So our one of the favorite remedy uh, of injury remedy is ruta, and it is belong to the same same family. Okay, rutashi. Then proceeding further. Uh, now this is case from Dr. Clark. Okay. So the thing was that uh, a, a 28 years old uh, injured her right ulnar nerve. See once again, right ulnar nerve. This is a case of our uh, well-known author, Dr. Clark. He he stated that a 28-year-old who has a ulnar nerve elbow by repeatedly striking in the age of bath while washing some article. Means as a wash, karte karte, either injury with right ulnar nerve. For two months, she had kept in the sling. Usse kar rakha, then it swell. And eight months after injury, uh, they saw her. Some eight months after injury, I saw her. The pain centered on ulnar nerve where it crosses the inner condyle of humerus. Though there was pain above and below as well. So, yeah, zar -zar -zar, which was there in, uh, in our video was nothing but on the force of ulnar nerve. Okay. So, what Dr. Clark has done, let's see. I gave ruta. So you must have heard that ankle, elbow, je bony part as na, uh, hota, payasa in Marathi. That is usually for ruta. Okay. Now, uh, so uh, so as a first remedy that came in mind of uh, Master Dr. J. H. Clark, who is the author of Dictionary of Practical Matra Medica, which gave some relief to the patient and relieved the frontal headache to which patient was subject to. The arms was less well given. So potency increased. Ruta 30. No. No, uh, they have given Ruta 30 only. Then next remedy was Xanthoxylum 12, four times a day. So 12 is the potency basically. And then he made distinct improvement in the arm as well as dysmenorrhea. After persistent treatment, various attenuation, nerve lost its sensitiveness. The patient could use arm freely. Means the nerve which has lost the sensitiveness, now she, she can use it freely. Then Xanthoxylum 1, fire drops and all. So, uh, this is the case. One is of that criminal case and this is the class case. This, though these two cases will be sufficient to imbibe you in mind forever that yes, this is a uh, wonderful remedy that is Xanthoxylum. So action is nerves, respiration, female sexual organs, uh, constitution. It is uh, like sepia pulsatilla. Its constitution is similar to sepia pulsatilla, uh, you know, thin lady emaciated, poor sleep, insomnia kind of. The point to be noted is that this patient is a completely hot patient. He's not a chilly patient like uh, we have this uh, hypericum, even rust ox. Actually, uh, the ambithermal but still noxomica, most of them. It is a very hot ambulation by open air. Its sciatic pains are aggravated by aggravated in summer. Then there is flushes of heat and perspiration, redness of one cheeks during menstrual pains. Now, at the level of mind, this patient is very much nervous and frightened. Darawa, fearful patient is, uh, uh, expression is there. Easily startled like this. Depression and weakness. Does not care if she lived and dies. So, pain ki karan patient is become indifference to the life. Okay. Then, uh, there are some comparison which we will not do right now. So, there are three causation. Either the menses are suppressed or getting feet wet. Can anybody tell me remedy for a menorrhea after getting feet wet? Okay. Please uh, type in chat box. So uh, going to uh, a very interesting session. Okay. So three, uh, three causes, injury to the nerve, getting wet and suppression of menses. Okay. Moving on to the further, we have Yes, no answer. Anyone? Yes, I think someone has answered it cleverly and rightly. It is an, yes, it is a pulsatilla. So uh, now you can see, yes, phosphorus is uh, not a prominent, but pulsatilla definitely has. So suppression of menses from getting feet wet, like pulsatilla, like rustox. Here comes uh, our remedy of the day that is xanthoxylum. Can you see it? Okay, in the same context, moving on to the further. 
the important thing so it is a so called specific remedy for dysmenorrhea it 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 comes close to you know our colocynth macfos and so on in that group it it uh, you know uh, falls then leucorrhea instead of menses neuralgic pains again during menses spasmodic pains dysmenorrhea of a nervous woman pains are uh, agonizing along the course of genital pleural nerves almost drives the patient to distraction. You know, the symptoms which are found grand use anthocyanin is desire to take deep breath like Ignatia, like calcare Foss, and many other. Okay. Then red face during the pencils. So never ever forget its affinity to the heat, to the warmth, to the redness, to the plethora. That is red face during the place. Dysmenorrheal pains. And again, after pain. So after pains means after. What is the meaning of after pain? Yes, active. Be active on chat box. After pain. What What is the meaning of after pains? Yes, Amit, you are right. It is an after delivery. Then there is a case of uh, Dr. P. C. Muzumdar also. Uh, your case of uterine fibroid. Emaciated, feeble, fifty-six year old widow. And if she was having a uterine fibroid, menstruation has ceased 15 years before. She has been profuse pain perpetrated by leucorrhea, neuralgic pain in right ovarian region. So see, this is a painful origin. Okay. So appetite was fewer, patient was nervous. Xanthoxylum 3x was given. And after week, patient was better. And uh, Muzumdar found that patient was changed person. Interesting. Okay. The tumor was much softer and reduced by itself. So in our old literature also, we find similar things, okay? So this is uh, all about the wonderful remedy of the day and its expression of xanthoxylum. I hope uh, there are lots and lots of things to be told about this remedy, but I hope this is uh, helpful for you to understand the nerve pains uh, you can use even it in the migraine also. Okay. So this is all about uh, the time that is remaining is just few minutes. So if you have learned well, let me know. If you have any question also, then also let me know. Your suggestions are very, very important. Suggestions, questions. Have you got good idea of Xanthoxylum? See. Yes, it is a 30 potency, almost per in, almost every time, without fail. It's always 30 potency. And why 30 potency? So there is an, you know, we have to take one hour lecture to understand why 30 potency and what are the means. If you have any, 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 any else question, you can ask. Yes, how I progress to repertory and how I uh, solve this case. Okay. Yes, the first prescription itself was in the Oh Yes. So that was the question. It is first prescription itself is a Anthozylum. So last one minute. If you have any question, let me know. If not, Put your responses on our beloved WhatsApp group. Okay. No naringe, it is not a single dose. Uh, initially, I uh, I have given the half dram. She was taking it almost alternate day for one week. Then uh, she had to take it very less, like once a week, kind of. Okay. And then in the second follow-up, that whole half dram was as it is. She said that I have taken it once. So my direction was repeat when it is very severe. Okay. So it's time to conclude. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, it is necessary to cross check your mind section in chronic. You have to take each and everything. Okay. You have to take each and everything without fail. Because see our challenge is that we have to crack the case in here. So any point, any point. Uh, thank you Naranji for joining. And thank you everyone for joining. But the thing is that why we ask each and everything is that the more we are sure about the totality, the more it is helpful for us. Okay. So we want 
this every time. So uh, in the chat box, let me also know that uh, is it better for this with presentation or our 